The capra goats live in some of the most difficult and dangerous mountain habitats on the face of the earth. To complete a capra world slam of 12 is one of the most difficult, physically challenging accomplishments in the mountain hunting world. Tonight, we want to honor several individuals who have reached this milestone. Please hold your applause until everyone's been introduced. And as your name is called, please quickly make your way to the stage. It was a 16-year quest from start to finish for Victor Engel of New Hampshire to achieve his Capra World Slam. Victor's first Capra species was an American mountain goat from Wyoming taken back in 2002. In 2004, Victor traveled to Kyrgyzstan where he took the mid-Asian Ibex. Victor really got after the Capra species over the past three years to complete his slam. His Alpine Chamois from Slovenia came in 2017 and in 2018, Victor did a multi-species hunt in Spain, taking the last three ibex he needed from that country, the Ronda, Southeastern, and Besady ibex. In 2016, Norman Epley of California hunted in Spain and was able to take both the Southeastern and Ronda ibex to achieve his Capra World Slam. Backing up several years, you see Norman's American Mountain Goat, taken from British Columbia in 1979. In 1994, Norman hunted in Mongolia and took an Altai Ibex and the Gobi Ibex that you see here. It was a hunt in Kyrgyzstan during 2010 where Norman took a mid-Asian Ibex. For many GSCO members, the American Mountain Goat is the first Capra species taken on the Capra World Slam list. Such was the case for Wayne Farnsworth Jr. of Ohio, who took his goat in NWT in 1991. Wayne has taken all four Ibex and two Chamois from Spain, but we choose to show his archery taken Greedos Ibex here. In 2014, Wayne took a Bezor Ibex from Turkey, as well as a Dagestan Eastern Tur from Azerbaijan. Wayne completed his Capra World Slam in Kyrgyzstan during 2017, where he took a mid-Asian Ibex. Farrell Gossman of Indiana hunted in British Columbia in 1997 and took an American mountain goat as his first Capra trophy. Farrell hunted in Spain during 2009 and 2013 and took all four Ibex that that country has to offer. You'll see his Besady Ibex from 2013 here. In 2014, Farrell hunted in Switzerland and was able to collect an Alpine Ibex. On a hunt in Turkey during 2017, Farrell achieved his Capra World Slam and was able to take an Anatolian Chamois and Bezor Ibex. It was a southeastern ibex from Spain that completed a Capra World Slam in 2018 for James Lines of Texas. Leading up to that event was a Bukharan Markor from Tajikistan that James took in 2016. In April 2017, James took a Himalayan tar on a hunt in Nepal. Later that year in November, James hunted in Turkey and took two outstanding Capra trophies, a Bezor ibex and an Anatolian chamois that you see here. Craig Nakamoto of Iowa began his quest for the Capra World Slam back in 2006 on a multi-species hunt in New Zealand. There he took both the New Zealand Chamois and Tower. Craig really got after the goats of the world more recently. In 2016, he traveled to Kyrgyzstan for mid-Asian Ibex. Craig's American Mountain Goat from Kodiak Island, Alaska came in 2018, and he finished up his Capra World Slam in Spain later that same year with the Ronda and Southeastern Ibex. It was on a hunt in France in 2018 where Mark Peterson of Michigan achieved his Capra World Slam. There he took a Chartreuse Chamois. Mark has made multiple trips to Spain and has collected all four of the Ibex found there, including the Besady that you see here. He traveled to Mongolia in 2015 to take an Altai Ibex and the following year Mark made his way to Pakistan in pursuit of the highly desirable Suleiman Markor. On another trip to Pakistan, Mark scored on a fine Sindh Ibex. Kevin Small of California completed his Capra World Slam back in 2013 with a pair of New Zealand trophies, the Chamois and Tar. Kevin's first Capra species was an American mountain goat taken in 1996. He traveled to Pakistan in 2012, where he connected on a pair of Sindh Ibex. Kevin is actually very close to reaching the Capra Super 20, 
and is one of the few individuals who has taken all four huntable species of markhor. His Suleiman from Pakistan came in 2017, and his most recent capra entry in Astor markhor also came from Pakistan, and that was in 2018 as well. It was a Balkan chamois from Macedonia that got Theron Soroka of Alberta to the Capra World Slam. An interesting note is that 11 of Theron's Capra entries were taken with a bow. His two mid-Asian Ibex from Kyrgyzstan taken in 2010 are his only rifle entries, and those were the first trophies on his Capra list. Theron arrowed a Bezor Ibex in Turkey back in 2013, and is one of the few bow hunters to ever harvest a Dagestan Eastern Tur, which he took in Azerbaijan back in 2016. We'll finish up by showing you Theron's Sind Ibex from Pakistan that he arrowed in 2018. It was 17 years from start to finish for Mark Wayne of Texas to complete his Capra World Slam. His first entry was an American Mountain Goat from British Columbia, taken in 2000. Mark's final trophy toward his Capra World Slam was a Cantabrian Chamois from Spain in 2017. Along the way, Mark took a Balkan Chamois from Macedonia in 2010. He took all four Ibex found in Spain on the same trip, including an impressive Gritos Ibex. In 2016, Mark traveled to Greece where he got a Cree Cree Ibex. Alberta's Kevin Williams completed his Capra World Slam on a hunt in Spain in November 2018 with the southeastern ibex. Kevin has all three tur found in the Caucasus Mountains, including an impressive Dagestan Eastern tur from Azerbaijan taken in 2014. Kevin's mid-Asian ibex from Kyrgyzstan came in 2016, and the following year he took an Altai ibex from Mongolia. His 11th Capra trophy was a fine Balkan chamois from Macedonia taken in October 2018. That completes our Capra World Slammers for 2019. Let's give them all a big round of applause. There are those who continue to hunt the difficult Capra goats even after their original 12. For the tough of mind and body who do this, there are the milestones of the Capra World Slam Super 20 and Super 30 and we'll honor some of those people here tonight. Please hold your applause until everyone's been introduced, and as your name is called, please quickly make your way to the stage. First, we go to the Capra Super 20s. Farley Daniels of Texas is the first to be recognized for his Capra Super 20. He got that done in 2018 with a Cree Cree hybrid Ibex from Croatia. Farley had achieved his Capra World Slam of 12 in 2010 on a three chamois hunt in Europe, including Carpathian from Romania and the Alpine chamois from Slovenia. Also from 2010, Farley hunted in Mongolia and took a great Altai Ibex. Farley hunted in Switzerland during 2011 and was able to take an Alpine Ibex. And in 2013, Farley hunted in Spain and collected a Pyrenean chamois as well as a Mallorcan wild goat. Farley was able to take a Cree Cree Ibex from Macedonia in 2014. It was in Russia in 2016 that Enrique Fernandez of the Philippines completed his Capra Super 20 with a mid-Caucasian tur. Enrique started his Capra quest in 1991 when he took an American mountain goat from British Columbia. Enrique achieved his Capra World Slam of 12 in 2008 when he took an Alpine Ibex from Switzerland. More recently, Enrique hunted in Pakistan in 2011 and 2012 and took both the Sindh and Himalayan Ibex. In 2014, Enrique took a Dagestan Eastern Tur from Azerbaijan. Then in 2015, he hunted into Tajikistan and added a Bukharan Makur. Only a year later in 2016, Enrique traveled back to Pakistan and scored with an Aster Makur. We next want to recognize Brian Hauk of Alberta for his Capra Super 20. Brian had already achieved an Ovis World Slam Super 30 before he ever started hunting the goats of the world. 
Brian achieved his cap or world slam of 12 in 2016 after taking a Himalayan Ibex from Pakistan. Brian didn't ignore the Caucasus Mountains in his cap request. In 2016, he took the SCI No. 3 Dagestan Eastern Tour, and then in 2017, he headed the Kuban Western Tour, Caucasian Chamois, and Mid-Caucasian Tour. During late 2017 and early 2018, Brian made three separate trips to Pakistan and was able to collect the Kashmir, Aster, and Suleiman Markors to achieve his Capra World Slam Super 20. Scott Kendricks of Texas reached the Capra World Slam Super 20 in October 2018 with an Alpine Ibex in Switzerland. Scott hunted Spain in 2014 and 2015 and was able to take a fine Gritos Ibex on his first trip and a Ronda Ibex the following year. Scott took a pair of mid-Asian Ibex back in 2011, but hunted them again in 2016 and connected on an outstanding trophy. The Caucasus Mountains were up next for Scott, and he's taken all three Tur and the Caucasian Chamois from that region. Scott's now up to 21 Capra animals after registering his most recent goat, the Chartreuse Chamois, taken in France in 2018. Jens Knudsen of Denmark achieved his Capra World Slam Super 20 on the hunt in Russia in 2017, where he took a Caucasian Chamois and a Kuban Western Tur. Backing up, we see Jens completed his Capra World Slam of 12 in Mongolia during 2014, when he took an Altai and Gobi Ibex. Yen's first Capra goat was in 1996, when he took an Alpine Chamois from Austria. In 2012, Yen's traveled to British Columbia and was able to take an American mountain goat. Earlier the same year, Yen's hunted in Spain and got a southeastern Ibex. In 2015, Yen's hunted in Nepal and collected the very difficult Himalayan tar. It was in Spain in 2017 that George Latham Myers II of West Virginia achieved his Capra Super 20 with the Southeastern and Ronda Ibex. Latham didn't forget the tourist species in his Capra quest as he has taken all three. You'll see his Mid-Caucasian tour taken from Russia in 2013 here. In 2015, Latham hunted in Mongolia and was able to take both the Altai and Gobi Ibex on the same hunt. In 2017, Latham hunted in Austria, Romania, and Macedonia, and took the Alpine, Carpathian, and Balkan Chamois all on the same hunt. George is also an author, and he'll be signing his latest book at our Author's Corner on Saturday from 1 to 3 p.m. New Mexico's Mark Pickering took his final trophy toward the Capra World Slam Super 20, a Cricri Ibex in Greece, back in November 2018. In 2011, Mark traveled to New Zealand, where he took both the New Zealand chamois and tar found there. Next, we go to Mark's Spain trophies, and we'll start with his Pesedi Ibex and Gritos Ibex, both of which were taken in 2014. Up next for Mark, is his great Kuban Western Tour from Russia, taken in 2015. Mark traveled back to Spain again in 2017 and took the Mallorcan Wild Goat. And finally, you see Mark with his Altai Ibex from Mongolia, taken in 2017. Stephen Skaggs of Oklahoma really got after the world's wild goats over the past few years to help him achieve the Capra World Slam Super 20 which he completed in 2018 with an Alpine Ibex from Switzerland. Stephen hunted Alaska in 2013 to get his American mountain goat. He traveled to Azerbaijan in 2016 and was successful in taking a pair of Dagestan Eastern Tur. Up next for Stephen is his great mid-Asian Ibex from Kyrgyzstan taken in 2016. The following year, Stephen traveled back to the Caucasus Mountains where he and friend Scott Kendricks took their two Kuban Western Tur. On that same hunt, Stephen was successful in getting his Caucasian chamois. Two more chamois from Stephen's Capra list include his Carpathian from Serbia taken in 2018, and on that same hunt in Europe, Stephen also collected a Chartreuse chamois in France. Let's give this group of Capra Super 20 holders a big hand.
Now, let's move along to the Capra World Slam Super 30s. To reach the Capra Super 30, some of the more rare or difficult to obtain Capra goats have to be sought out in different corners of the world. The Bezor Hybrid Ibex from Turkey you have seen is one of those, and it was taken by John Colglazer of Texas in 2018. Another of the rare Capra trophies is the Nubian Ibex from Sudan, and that one came for John in 2009. In 2012, John achieved his Capra World Slam with a Carpathian chamois taken from Romania. In 2013, John hunted in Greece and got a Cree Ibex on Sapienza Island. It was in Pakistan during 2015 that John achieved the Capra Super 20 after taking a Himalayan and Sindh Ibex. John hunted in Pakistan again in 2017 and was able to collect a Suleiman Markor. In 2018, John hunted in Tajikistan and took a beautiful Bukharan Markor. And John achieved his Capra Super 30 on a hunt in the Caucasus Mountains of Russia during 2018 when he took a Kuban Western and Mid-Caucasian tour. British Columbia's Daryl Husker has really been after the world's mountain game over the past few years and recently achieved his Capra World Slam Super 30. We want to start with Daryl's Sindh Ibex from Pakistan, taken back in 2011. Daryl traveled back to Pakistan in 2013, where he took a Suleiman Markor. In 2015, Daryl hunted Spain and was successful in taking all four Ibex. He saw his Gritos in Southeastern from that hunt. Later that same year, Daryl traveled back to Spain and took a Cantabrian and Pyrenean chamois. Up next for Daryl is a Chartreuse chamois from France taken in 2016, and he traveled to Nepal and connected on the Himalayan tar. Daryl had taken an all-time Ibex from Mongolia back in 2011, but he went back in 2018 and took a second one. Daryl's Carpathian chamois from Romania came in 2018, and we'll round out this presentation by showing his most recent Capra trophy, a low Tatra chamois from Slovakia. Gary Ingrisall of Texas achieved his Capra Super 30 in 2016 with a low Tatra chamois in Slovakia. Backing way up to 1983, we see that Gary took a Dagestan Eastern tour in the Caucasus Mountains of Russia. Gary achieved his Capra Super 20 with a southeastern Spanish Ibex in 2005. In 2013, Gary took a Sind Ibex in Pakistan and later that year scored with an Anatolian Chamois in Turkey. Gary hunted throughout Europe in 2015 to add four Capra species toward his 30, including the Chartreuse Chamois in France, Cricri Ibex in Macedonia, Cricri Hybrid Ibex in Croatia, and the Mallorcan Wild Goat in Spain. Moving along to another Capra Super 30 holder, we find that Darren Millman of Ohio started his Capra quest in 2007 with an American Mountain Goat. In 2008, Darren hunted in Spain and collected all four Ibex on the same hunt. In 2011, Darren achieved his Capra World Slam of 12 with a New Zealand tar. In 2013, Daryl traveled back to Spain and achieved his Capra Super 20 with a Pyrenean chamois. He then traveled to France, Slovenia, and Switzerland, where he took a Chartreuse chamois, Alpine chamois, and Alpine ibex. In 2017, Darren first hunted in Mongolia and got a Gobi ibex. He then traveled to Bulgaria and took a Balkan chamois, and then he achieved his Capra World Slam Super 30 with a low Tatra chamois taken from Slovakia. We are pleased to recognize Justin Ragazine of Ohio for achieving his Capra Super 30. Justin did a tremendous amount of hunting in 2018 alone to get him to this milestone. He traveled to Mongolia in October to get both the Gobi and Altai Ibex. From there, Justin hunted several countries in Europe and Russia to get to number 30. They include his Alpine Ibex from Switzerland, the Caucasian Chamois from Russia, and the Low Tatra Chamois in Slovakia. Justin achieved his Capra Super 30 with the Chartreuse Chamois in France in December 2018. 
Backing up, we'd like to show you some of Justin's earlier Capra trophies. They include his Sind Ibex and Himalayan Ibex from Pakistan, his Gritos Ibex from Spain taken in 2015, and his impressive Dagestan Eastern Turf from Azerbaijan taken with a muzzle loader in 2016. Craig Willis of Texas is up next to be recognized for his Capra Super 30. Craig has taken all three Tour and the Caucasian Chamois found in Russia and Azerbaijan. It's the Kuban Western Tour and Mid-Caucasian Tour in 2012. Craig has taken all the Capra species found in Spain, including his Gritos Ibex from 2013 and the Southeastern Ibex taken the following year. Craig traveled to Macedonia to collect his Balkan Chamois in 2013, and in 2015, he went back to Spain for the Cantabrian Chamois. Craig took a Sind Ibex in Pakistan in 2015. Later that same year, he connected on outstanding Mid-Asian Ibex in Kyrgyzstan. Up next is an Alta Ibex from Mongolia taken in 2016. And Craig reached number 30 with a Bezor Ibex from Turkey in December 2018. Well, these Capra World Slams complete all of our awards for this evening. Each year we choose the Friday Night Banquet to honor so many of our members for their amazing mountain hunting milestones. We know it makes for a longer evening, but we hope we've made it entertaining. One last time, let's give them all a big round of applause. <laughs>